Hello, my name is Maria Guadalupe Rodriguez. Um, you can call me Lupe or Maria. And the purpose of this video is to make people aware of some of the symptoms of stomach cancer. I was diagnosed with stomach with the stomach cancer back in twenty in February of twenty twenty three of this year. Um, and when people uh, know or when uh, I tell people that I have a stomach cancer. They asked me for my symptoms. What were my symptoms? What was I feeling? Obviously, there is a big sickness in my body. Um, so people assumed um, that I had um, pain or that I have so many red flags. Um, but unfortunately, um, sometimes cancer can be very quiet and very sneaky, which is my case. Um, and a stomach cancer can be very quiet. Um, the symptom, uh, the major symptom that I have uh, felt so far is that I was only able to eat a small portions of food at the time. Um, it started back in July of last year. Um, I started noticing that whenever I ate a little bit more than what I um, was used to, um, the food would get stuck in my stomach. It will pile up and I will feel this, um, I'll feel it in my chest. I'll feel like it was stuck, like there was food stuck in my chest. Um, now I was living a healthy lifestyle. I was eating a lot of fruits and vegetables. I was being very active and I also was eating small portions. So I thought that it was normal. I thought that my stomach was getting used to eating small portions. And that's why when I ate a little bit more than what I was used to, um, I felt the food piling up and getting stuck in my chest. Um, so I brushed that symptom off. Um, so what I did is just, I was just eating my normal por portion sizes and um, I didn't pay much attention to it. Um, I didn't have pain or anything like that. Um, so I just kept living my life and trying to eat a small portion. So I didn't feel that um, that um, uncomfortable feeling in my stomach. Because that, that's what it was. It was just an uncomfortable feeling. Um, I, um, I also have a pre-existing condition of GER and um, gastritis. So um, with that comes a lot of heartburn. And it's also very common to feel that fullness feeling. Um, so I thought it was um, also that symptom could be caused because of that uh, pre-existing pre conditions. Um, when I started noticing more that it was not normal, it was whenever I, we had a party or whenever we went out to eat that I really want to eat a big plate of food. I couldn't. Um, again, the food would get getting stuck in my stomach. It would get stuck in my chest, all the way down up to my chest. If I drink even a little bit of water, um, I feel nauseous and I feel like I was gonna vomit. Um, so that was in September. That's when I started feeling that uh, symptom a little bit more. Uh, that's when I went to the doctor. Um, I explained to her the symptoms. Um, she gave me a, a script for um, for lab work, and she also gave me medicine for the GERD symptoms, which it was common, and, and we thought that that's what it was, um, gastritis or GERD um, symptoms. Um, so I started um, taking medicine for that. Um, she gave me the script for the lab work, which I didn't do immediately. Um, why? Because I was feeling healthy, because I was, I had all this energy, uh, nothing hurt. My stomach didn't really hurt other than that uncomfortable feeling when I ate. So I didn't do it right away. Um, in November, um, that's when I started feeling a little bit more of that, that symptom. Um, back in, now in November, I was vomiting more when um, after eating even if I ate a small portion of food. Um, I started losing weight because obviously I was eating a little less and I was losing appetite. I was still very hungry. I was still not experiencing any pain other than um, heartburn, which was again in my head normal for uh, based on my pre-existing conditions. Um, 
and but I was noticing it more. I was noticing that I was vomiting more, and even if I ate the same or you know in a small amount of food, um, that's when I went to have my lab work. Um, at that um, at that time, my blood was very very low, um, meaning that I was losing blood somewhere. Again, based on my pre-existing condition. The, the conditions, um, the doctor thought it was an ulcer, maybe that it was bleeding, um, but we never thought, she never thought, and I never thought that it was going to be this big of a thing. Um, she did order an endoscopy and a colonoscopy, which I had done in December. Um, the doctor immediately noticed that there was something wrong and bad in my stomach. Um, however, um, the biopsies he took were uh, negative for cancer. Um, and they did an, a second endoscopy with an ultrasound um, to see because the, the cancer is on the my stomach wall. So it is around my stomach. This makes my stomach hard and um, it makes it um, that it cannot expand. And that's why I was feeling the symptom because my, my the food was getting into my small stomach that couldn't expand. So it would just pile up. And if I ate a little bit more, it had to, um, I had to vomit um, because there was no way for um, where else for the food to go. Um, they finally found the cancer uh, when they did a laparoscopy which is in a, a, a small um they did three small incision they went into my stomach they biopsied the lining of my stomach they found the cancer um and it was very surreal because again based on my symptoms i never thought it was going to be this big of a thing um i wish i really wish that somebody had um, told me that somebody would have shared a video like this with me back in July. If somebody would have said something, I would have gone to the doctor immediately. Um, so that is my purpose. I want to make people aware. I want people to, to know that that could be a symptom of this big thing. Um, so I... Please share this video with as many people as you can. Um, if you feel a symptom similar to what I was feeling, or if you know somebody that is feeling these symptoms, please be your own advocate. Um, go to the doctor, don't let it uh, pass. Go to the doctor, tell them about your symptoms, tell them that you hear my story and you want to make sure that they check everything. Again, in my case, it was very quiet and very sneaky. So um, I just want to make people aware of it. Um, I think that um, we do hear a lot, of, um, a lot about breast cancer and other cancer. And unfortunately, stomach cancers, we don't really hear the symptoms or signs. Um, so share this video and I hope it can help somebody um, detect their cancer in an, in an early stage so they can come out to the other side victorious. Um, which I hope is going to be my case. Um, please share this video and thank you.